morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. We have seen some weakness in the US markets overnight and they were marginally down about 0.2 or percent. The jobless claims rose unexpectedly higher and it remains to be seen what kind of job data today's number throws up because that's going to be very crucial in terms of the policy forming for the next few weeks. European markets however were up anywhere from 0.4 to almost about 0.75% as the European Central Bank has kept the overnight uh, rates unchanged and uh, also uh, there is a super uh, pro dovish commentary coming out from the ECB President uh, Mario Draghi so that has definitely helped the sentiment and most of the markets were up uh, and when we look at the Asian markets today morning most of them are down anywhere from 0.25 to almost about 0.3% Yen has actually depreciated to almost about 105 or levels but that has not helped uh, the equity market sentiment. Uh, SDX Nifty also is suggesting that we are going to open down about 20, 25 or points. Uh, over the past three days, we are seeing some kind of a weakness in our own markets with Bank Nifty leading the way down. And uh, though there are now sharp cuts, the fact of the matter is that the momentum has actually slowed down for the last two or three days. And overall flows are also stagnating at about 600-700 crores a day. So even in yesterday's trade, we have seen that the FIs had put in almost about 712 crore and almost a similar amount the DIS sold. And in the index futures, we have seen some selling of almost about 150 odd crore. So markets may consolidate for probably a couple of days, but uh, the market is not likely to go down in a major way. Banking is. Uh, a pocket which looks quite uh, uh, weak but overall we think that uh, the mid caps and most of the other large cap stocks are uh, going to do pretty okay. On that note let me invite Sadhana to take us through important effort of use and ideas that we can have from the FNO side. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. In yesterday's session we have seen that after a positive start markets entered into a red territory and we have seen that some selling pressure was witnessed at high levels. But in last one hour trade, we have seen that buying was witnessed in blue chip counters and Nifty finally managed to close at 6768 with a margin loss of 0.32%. In this period, we have seen that long unwinding was uh, seen by market participants as around 0.90 shares, shares were reduced in open interest and Nifty cost of carry also decreased by approximately 9%. Nifty futures premium also decreased from 37 points to 32 odd levels. On the PCR front, we have seen that it has increased significantly from 0.98 to, uh, to 1.05, just clearly saying that put option has added more number of shares than call option, which is clearly visible in the options activity. As we can see, 6600 stands with highest number of shares in put option, and followed by 6700 stands with good number of shares in open interest. And if we talk about call strike of 6900 as of now, stands with highest number of shares in open interest followed by 6800 and 7000. Our intraday support would be 6745, resistance would be 6800, 6030 levels. And Singapore Nifty is down by 16 points, it's at 6762 levels. And there is one security in bank period today that is LND Holding Finance. And yesterday FIs were net sellers in future and option segment. Overall, the bias for the market is positive as we are trading above 5 days, we were about 6745 and our lower range for the market would be 6700, higher range would be 6900. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the actionable ideas and uh, Coal India some positive news as the company has raised the prices of one of its uh, category of coal from about uh, 290 per ton to almost about 390 per ton. So because of that one can expect positive reaction in the coal India stock in today's market. So one can go along there with a stop loss of 283 to about 298 to about 303 levels. And you need to take also some positive news as the company's uh, uh, LAC listed subsidiary, uh, the, one of the uh, foreign companies uh, which is Canadian asset management firm Brookfield is looking to acquire about 100% stake in that particular company uh, which is likely to be valued at about 1500 to almost about 2000 crore and in that company Unitec is holding about 13.69% stake so there is a positive trigger for Unitec so one can go long there with a stock loss of 14.20 and a target of about 15.25 Coming to the watch list for the today's day trading, 
the stocks with positive bias are United Spirits, Colgate, Lupin, and Sun Pharma, where we have a positive bias, so one can really initiate the long trades uh, based on the technical levels, and the uh, bail is the stock where we have a negative bias. The other news, the uh, Supreme Court has raised serious questions with the gas price hike, and uh, they have actually uh, raised certain questions on the rationality for increasing the price when in Bangladesh the gas is available at a much lower price and the government also has actually responded uh, on, on these questions so uh, it looks like that this particular matter is going to get extended over the next uh, few months uh, so this could be a bit of a negative for the Reliance industry stock. In another development, ONGC has uh, told the government the gas production from some of its deep uh, Sea fuels would be viable only at a price close to about $13 uh, per barrel, which is far above the uh, new price uh, that has been allowed for the OADC and Reliance, about $8.4 per unit. And uh, Trompton Reeves uh, has got some order from Indonesia, totaling about 174 crore. And uh, in other news, Venus Remedies has got a uh, marketing authorization for. Uh, one of the drugs, which is antibiotics drugs, so some positive action is likely in the Venus Remedy stock in today's market. And Reserve Bank of India has allowed uh, the foreign investors to pick up uh, close to about 28% stake in Adelweiss Financial Services. In other news, uh, the GM Brewery's board of directors have recommended a bonus issue in the ratio of 1 is to 4, and uh, CCI has approved the proposed deal between DCM Sriram and US based XCL related to a polyvinyl chloride uh, compounds business. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session and a great weekend ahead. See you on Monday morning.